Hello citizens! In today's video, I would like to cover the reputation segment of Tony Z's panel at this year's CitizenCon. As always, if you liked the video, sacrifice a like to the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more as we are on the way to a thousand subscribers. So before we get into the future plans for the reputation system, I think we should cover the current state. At the moment, the reputation system is fairly simple. You gain reputation with certain factions or persons by completing missions for them. This unlocks more missions or in most cases just increases your reward. In 314 there are only a few factions that track reputation, but in 315 this list is going to expand significantly. This system is very basic, but it serves as a very good foundation for what comes next. At the moment, reputation has little consequence outside of mission availability and rewards. Moving forward, this system lacks two major features. The the first one is interaction with the law system in the game. Now, there already is some form of interaction. When you get a crime stat, you will automatically be suspended by all security factions that you had any reputation with. However, this is not a long-term reputation change. Once you get rid of your crime stat, all you need to do is complete one mission and you're back on good terms with the local security force. Now, the connection between the law system and the reputation system should work both ways. If you have a high standing with the local security force, they will allow you to enter restricted areas or let you carry a gun or maybe forgive you a parking ticket or two. On the other hand, if you commit a lot of crimes, your reputation with local security forces should decrease regardless of whether you manage to clear your crime stat. Now, at the moment, your reputation can only go to zero, where you're basically unknown to the faction. What should happen is that through your actions you can gain a negative reputation that would cause stations to refuse to provide services or security forces to attack you as if you had a crime stat. Now, I think that most of what I mentioned here is waiting for improvements to the law system and a general overhaul of how crime stats work. Now, the law system and crime stats are a topic for another video, but my point here is that eventually this system will have to tie into reputation, which will provide a better experience and gameplay for both lawful and unlawful players. So let's move on to the second missing feature. At the moment, different factions and persons that track your reputation have no relationships. So gaining reputation with one won't affect your reputation with another. This theoretically allows you to have a great reputation with the local security forces while also having a great reputation with the local outlaws. In the future, the reputation system will include the relationships between different factions. And this doesn't just include the obvious lawful versus unlawful factions, but for example, doing missions and gaining reputation with Kovalex should lower your reputation and make it harder to gain reputation with their business rivals. While at the same time, it should make it easier for you to gain reputation with their business partners. This will create a more immersive and dynamic system, and for the most part, the foundation for this feature is already laid down, so I think we might see it fairly soon. In conclusion, the reputation system is very important for the overall game experience because it dictates how NPCs and the world interact with you which ultimately creates a more dynamic and diverse experience for all of us. With that being said, that's it for tonight. What do you think? Is the current reputation system good enough? Are you looking forward to the changes? Let me know in the comments, fly safe and I will see you in the verse.